Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to look at another method by which alcohols can be prepared, and this method is called hydroboration oxidation. So, in this reaction, as you can see, this is also a method by which we can obtain alcohols from alkenes. So, what happens in this reaction is that diborane or B2H6 reacts with alkenes to give trialkyl boranes which is then oxidized in the second step using H2O2 and NaOH to give alcohol as the final product. Let us try to understand the mechanism by taking an example. Here we have taken propane as our starting alkene and when propane reacts with B2H6, it gives CH3, CH2, CH2, BH2. Now this particular compound further reacts with two molecules of propane to give trialkyl borane as the final product. Now this trialkyl borane further gets oxidized in the presence of H2O2 and NaOH to give three molecules of alcohol and orthoboric acid which is H3BO3 as the final products. Now an important thing to note here is the position of OH group. As you can see in this reaction OH group adds to that carbon atom which has more number of hydrogen atom as opposed to what we had observed in acid catalyzed hydration of alkenes. We know that in acid catalyzed hydration of alkenes a marconi cobbs addition takes place where the OH group attaches to that carbon atom which has less number of hydrogen atom. Let us try to appreciate the difference between these two reactions by taking an example. So in this example we have taken this as a starting alkene and now we will try to see how the products differ when this alkene undergoes acid catalyzed hydration and when it undergoes hydroboration and oxidation. In the first reaction the alkene undergoes acid catalyzed hydration where the first step is protonation of the double bond and it gives rise to two different carbocation. So the major product will be obtained from that carbocation which is the most stable carbocation in this case which is the secondary carbocation. In the second step the uh, lone pair of electrons on the oxygen atom attacks this particular carbocation and with deprotonation in the last step you get this as the final alcohol which is C2H5 CHOH CH3. Now here you can see that OH group has attached to that particular carbon atom which has less number of hydrogen atom or which is in according to Marconi curves addition. Now let us see what will be the product obtained when the same alkene undergoes hydroboration and oxidation reaction. So in that reaction what we do is we react 3 molecules of our alkene with B2H6 to get trialkyl borane which in the second step undergoes oxidation with H2O2 and NaOH to give 3 molecules of alcohol which is C2H5, CH2, CH2OH. Now you can clearly see that the difference between these two alcohols and in this particular alcohol OH group has attached to that carbon atom which has more number of hydrogen atom. I hope you are very clear on what are the differences between acid catalyzed hydration of alkene as well as hydroboration and oxidation. Thank you.